Good morning. Welcome to the Glacier Line on the morning of July 21st, 2017. I was inspired to shoot this video over the last few days I've been seeing all over Facebook on the various railroad sites people uh, asking about suggestions for track plans and a lot of those layouts have had duck unders in it and duck unders have been talked about extensively including in my book model railroad custom designer now, I would suggest to you never to ever have a duck under on your layout. Unfortunately, I realize there are going to be situations where people are going to have to do them. But as you can see here, this track I just ducked under at the start of the vehicle, I needed this for access to get back to this turntable. Originally, this was not part of the plan. This was just a staging area until a group of guys and ladies joined me down here on the glacier line to run the railroad and they wanted a classification area and an engine area so that hence we became the need for it so what I did was I cut away the original section of board that was under here and just created this bridge made out of this two by four and you could see every time that somebody would need to get back here and access one of these engines you'd have to get on your hands and knees and crawl under and come back and forth and that would be tremendously, tremendously inconvenient really, really quick. And the older we get, the harder it gets, too. I came up with the most simple solution in the world. I know lots of guys use hinges and lift out, lift out sections, which is, which is fine. Uh, there, that's probably a lot more uh, construction method. It's probably a lot better than what I did. But I just wanted to show anyone how simple it could be. I just simply took a 2x4 and cut the angles off to fit it in this area here. And there are 1x4s underneath both sides of it which support the weight of the bridge. It is, it is very strong. On either side of the bottom there are little screws or there are little plates in place to hold the bridge in place on the one side. Because on this side which would be impossible to see even if I move the camera, there is one screw that is connecting this bridge into this one by four, one really long screw. So all you have to do to get in this area versus ducking for the rest of your life is just simply lift up on this end and slide, slide the track over. And then, as you can see, you can easily walk into the area or out of the air, excuse me, and walk back into the area as well. To replace the bridge, you just simply swing it back, lifting it slightly, then you can drop it into its secure place where it's particularly held in place, and again, it is solid as solid can be. I prefer this over the lift out sections because uh, lifting it completely out and then you have to have somewhere to lay it down. I just chose just to simply put just the one long screw in the end because it's just easier just to swing it over here and then it's got somewhere to be and there's still sufficient width right here in order for you to uh, get back and forth. And again, as you can see me walk out, I will, cra I will crawl out one last time. So just by basis of looking at this video, you can decide if you do have to have a duck under and I would suggest do your absolute best and do not plan any duck unders, especially what I call an operational duck under, which means every time you're using the railroad, you have to duck under uh, versus an access duck under. An access duck under is just an area where every once in a blue moon you'd have to get into it to you know fix a piece of track or build new scenery, some, uh, some slight modification that may, like I said, just every once in a blue moon because duck unders are a bad idea on any model railroad. I hope this may have given somebody an idea though of how to uh, creatively get by a duck under just simply by the use of just using one screw just to uh, create a, a simple swing section to swing the track out of the way so you can stay on your feet as you're going back and forth. Hope everybody has a good day. See you later on the Glacier Line.